Hello everybody. In today's class, we will try to understand the uh, the class reptilia. So this uh, class reptilia is made up of various subclasses and orders. But first of all, let us deal with the different features of uh, this particular class and only then we will be able to understand the uh, different orders and the types. Now the study of reptilia is referred to as herpetology and these are all poikilothermic animals that is in other words uh, their body temperature changes with the surroundings and they are terrestrial. So, uh, the primary habitat is the, uh, the land, whether it is the burrows or the surface of the land or the trees. But as a secondary adaptation, they may go into water like the turtle or the crocodile etc. or the snakes. And the skin is very thick, impervious to uh, water and uh, it it may have scales which are epidermal or sometimes as in case of turtles and uh, crocodiles you find that uh, the skin has dermal scutes or, uh, or shields which form a sort of an external covering. Next is the body. The body is divisible into three clear regions head trunk and tail and between the head and trunk are pre is present a short neck the skull we already know that the skull is uh, has uh, it may have uh, temporal fossae or the vacuities in, temp in the temporal region and uh, these uh, skulls are divided into several groups. One is the anapsida where no temporal fossae are present, diapsida where two temporal fossae are present, parapsida and uh, you find anapsida and diapsida in the living forms and parapsida, urapsida and synapsida have uh, the temporal fossae uh, and certain modifications also may be found but all these forms are extinct. Next is the mouth. The mouth is terminal and it has the teeth and the clavicles are present and in between the clavicles a T-shaped interclavicle is also present. The heart is usually three chambered that is two auricles and one ventricle but in certain cases it may be four chambered like the crocodile. And respiration is definitely by uh, the lungs and uh, kidneys are metanephric and th these animals are uricotelic. Uricotelic would mean they, uh, uh, they excrete the uric acid. And the cranial nerves are 12 pairs. Male has, usually has the copulatory organ but in certain cases like the sphenodon or the uh, turtles and tortoises, the copulatory organ is not present. Fertilization is internal and eggs are laid. So this is about the general features of the class Reptilia. Now let us go over to the classification. So as I said, class Reptilia is divided into at least five subclasses. And this is on basis of the temporal uh, fossae or the vacuities. And where are these present? These are present in the temporal region of the skull. So in case of anapsida, no temporal fossae are present. In diapsida, two temporal fossae are present. And both these subclasses, anapsida and diapsida have living forms. But parapsida, urapsida and synapsida, though they have temporal fossae, but unfortunately all the animals are extinct. So let us start with the subclass 1 that is anapsida. In case of anapsida, the order first order is cotylosauria. 
Now, this is made up of uh, extinct individuals and the limbs here, whether it's the fore limbs or the hind limbs, these are poorly developed and the pelvic girdle is plate-like. So, the example is Semuria and this is again an extinct form. The second order that we find is Chelonia. In case of Chelonia, we find certain features. Uh, for example, the limbs. The limbs are modified into flippers in case of the, uh, the turtle. and uh, But they are clawed. And the thoracic vertebrae and the ribs are fused with the carapace. And copulatory organ is not present. So in case of uh, Chelonia, the examples are Chelone, Testudo, that is the land uh, uh, tortoise, uh, Midas, Midas or the green turtle, etc. So here I am focusing on the green turtle or Chelone Midas. So here you can see that the, the body is covered by an elliptical shield which has hexagonal plates uh, and these dorsal plates are referred to as a carapace. These are dermal in origin and they are bony. On the ventral side, a plastron is present and this is again a shield of plates. And four limbs and hind limbs are modified into wing-like structures or flippers which help in the uh, movement through water. Head is small with the eyes and a short neck. Copulatory organ is absent. So this is about the turtle or the Chelone Midas. The next example that I have. Now the second uh, subclass that we study is Diapsida. And the first order that we study in Diapsida is Rhynchocephalia. Now, rhynchocephalia basically consists of the living fossil and there is just one example that is Phenodon or the Tuatara lizard or, or and this is referred to as the living fossil because uh, it was a contemporary of the dinosaurs and it is alive to this date in New Zealand. It was first found in the Permian age. The body here is divided into, into a head, trunk and tail. It is lizard-like, has a thick skin and the, you, you can see the, on the dorsal side uh, the crest of spines is present. The tail is laterally compressed. Teeth are present on the jaws, a pair of eyes is present in, be in, in between which is present a third eye known as the parietal or the pineal eye which is concerned with a thermal regulation and circadian rhythms. Four limbs are well developed and these are pentaductile and they are clawed. So this is about Spenodon or the Tuatara lizard. The next order that we deal with is squamata. Now squamata is made up of two sub, uh, sub orders. One is lacetilia and the other is ophidia. So let us start with the lacetilia. Now in case of lacetilia, you find that this consists of the lizards and in this case the Epidermal scales are present. The, uh, the In this case, you find that the epidermal scales are present and the body has the fore and hind limbs which are pentadactyl. And the copulatory organ is present. So uh, all the lizards come under 
Lacetilia. And here you, uh, I'm focusing on Draco, an example of the lizard, which is referred to as the flying lizard. Now, in case of the flying lizard, we can see that the forelimbs and hind limbs are highly developed pentadactyle clawed. And between the forelimbs and the hind limbs is the, an extension of the ribs, which is known as the patagium, which is known as the patagium. The head is conical and bears a pair of eyes. On the sides of the head are present the hooks and the gula pouches, which help in copulation. A long tail is also present and the patagium helps the animal to glide over the trees. So this is about the flying lizard or draco. Uh, the next suborder is Ophidia. In suborder Ophidia, uh, we study the different types of snakes that is the Tiflos blind snake and the best known is Naja Naja or Cobra. Now here you can see uh, uh, that the body is covered with uh, scales and uh, the scales on, on the head are bigger and they are referred to as shields. And in case of cobra, a, spectacle, a double spectacle mark may be present and uh, such snakes are referred to as uh, binoculate snakes. In some, instead of uh, the uh, double spectacle mark, a single mark is present and they are referred to as mono oscillate and in some there is no spectacle mark at all and uh, these are the non oscillate snakes and uh, we can see that the the snakes have a small head which is not very much differentiated from the rest of the body and the neck serves as a hood because and it tends to in case of danger it tends to dilate it tends to dilate and uh, uh, these snakes are usually venomous or poisonous other non poisonous snakes also may be found like the tree snakes now the last order that I have here is Crocodilia and in Crocodilia the example that we study is the Crocodilus or Crocodile, uh, then um, Gavialis on which I am projecting and Alligators. Here in this case you find that the body is large and powerful, it is an aquatic animal and the skeleton has a no number of bony plates which are known as cutes and ribs are present. The skull in all these animals is the diapsid skull. Limbs and uh, claws are powerful, heart is four chambered and the male has a copulatory organ. So this is about gavialis which is not very dangerous to human beings where the head is drawn out into a long snout. The forelimbs and the hind limbs are clawed and pentadactyle. And the main feature is the presence of the dorsal scales or the scutes, which are bony in form. So, this is about the classification of reptiles. So, in this case, we have seen that the class Reptilia consists basically of sub, uh, five subclasses. Anapsida, Diapsida, Parapsida, Eurapsida and Synapsida but only in two forms that is Anapsida and uh, Diapsida subclasses you find the living forms. Others in other um, Parapsida, Eurapsida and Synapsida subclasses uh, you do not find any forms alive and in Anapsida we have dealt with the first order that is a cotylosauria, the example is Semuria. In the second order, we have dealt with Chelonia and we have studied about uh, the Myodus, uh, Chelone Myodus, that is the turtle, and uh, about the uh, tortoises, which are the landforms. So these can be either the water or landforms. And next sub, uh, the subclass is the Diapsida, where almost all the reptiles fit in. 
So the first one is rinkocephalia, where only one uh, living, one form is alive, and this is referred to as the living fossil or the sphenodon. And here, and the second order that we study is squamata, which is which consists of the lizards and the snakes. So there are two suborders. One is Lacertilia, and the other is Ophidia. And um, the third order is Crocodilia, which deals with the uh, crocodiles, gavialis, and the alligators.